Hey guys, Ashish here and I would be giving you the review of the new Moki ROM based on the CM12 released by Moki which is the lollipop ROM for the Redmi 1S and let's hop on to it. We get the default uh, lock screen which we get for the lollipop and the screen looks pretty amazing, the ROM performs really well, it is quite well optimized and there's no uh, glitches as to what I've used and the RIL bug which was found on the earlier versions of the Moki ROM has been fixed by the developers so big thumbs up to them totally and because due to that uh, nearly two months of hard work paid off so really it's really amazing the lollipop why it was a big craze for the Redmi fans because MI has never released a KitKat update for Redmi 1S. It has released the MIUI 6 update for Note as well as the uh, other variants but not for this version and there were like million, uh, more than 10,000 users who were using Redmi 1S and, the, and yet MI didn't listen to them. So thanks to the developers, a big thumbs up to them. So coming down the, to the room itself, the room is pretty smooth, the optimization is pretty well. Uh, let me show you the optimization. I'll be running several apps, let me run several apps for a minute. And suppose I have, I didn't, this is a stable room and it has no bugs in it. For what I have used till now, it has zero bugs. The only uh, minor glitch which I faced in this room was the speed dial error where the contacts which I saved in my speed dial were being deleted but later it got fixed I was really pretty happy for that so you can see that uh, one minute I don't know phone has certain yeah so the phone the multitasking is pretty smooth though the Redmi One S is of 1GB it is a 1GB variant but even though the optimization is pretty good thanks to the ROM itself because the ROM itself is the whole sole responsible factor during these transactions. Look at how smooth it is and let me wipe away all the apps. The cool feature of the new 5.1.1 update for, with thanks to the Moki ROM they have given an option of enhancing the uh, screen DPI also. Uh, it, mm, yeah here you can check out LCD density the screen DPI can be changed it has many variants you can decrease your screen with DPI or in the default was 320 as it is given here and you can decrease it I don't know why you want to decrease it but I have increased it so it prompts for a restart after doing that but after doing that the screen looks really clear and it is crystal clear believe me guys and the cool custom animations are included here you can see the animations which are seen over here it is pretty smooth yes it is really nice and the other advantages will be covered soon um, guys once you hold on to the status bar and then pull it up it doesn't unlock your device but once you hold or you hold the screen outside the status bar and pull it up it unlocks your device this is one good enhancement which 5.1 gave another plus point for the 5.1.1 update was through the status bar itself you can check out the connections you have right now uh, you can uh, check out the bluetooth as well you can check out all the pair devices over here it is pretty good, sweet because going into settings and then to bluetooth menu and then search the results would be quite uh, complex when it comes to uh, these tasks but and Google was pretty good at doing this look at this it is and once you press done it switches back to the status bar and if you go for more settings the settings will open once you get any notifications like this while you're doing some busy transactions or your phone is simply lying around that too uh, during any work you can simply swipe it up to ignore it uh, before we had a feature of swiping it left or right but that feature is still there the difference between those two features are once you swipe left or right the message they disappeared or 
it erases from your taskbar, no, sorry, the status bar, but once you swipe it up, it remains in your taskbar. Once you are complete with your transaction or your work, you can simply swipe down and check out what the message was. It won't let, uh, sometimes, you, we are capable of forgetting the messages, I'm sorry for that, but still, this is a cool feature, and coming down to the room, uh, as I've told you, it is pretty smooth, you have another, uh, additional feature or smart control in this what the smart control does is that you can it enhances your call features let me show you that uh, right here you have two options direct call to the dialer or lifting the phone to here will automatically call current contact so it is pretty sweet for, uh, for enhancements when you ask me and another security feature Moki gives you that if your phone is stolen at some instance or if it is silent you have an opportunity of say recovering your phone by Moki which basically locks your entire phone and doesn't unlock it until you enter your Google password which is pretty, pretty sweet and the app tray is the same default app tray uh, you get uh, the optimization pretty well because I have seen, I have used the 5.0 ROM, I have used all the ROMs which Moki has released till now but this is quite smooth. I don't have any glitches of whatsoever. See the multitasking is pretty smooth. It's really smooth. And I don't feel la that I have lack of RAM because even though I get only 400 MB or 500 MB of the 1 GB, it's pretty smooth. This ROM totally optimizes the ROM pretty well and yes friends and I would be leaving the uh, link for the ROM and guys, the let me show you the camera quality of this ROM real quick let me go to the camera app and uh, let me focus the case and you can see guys how look at how bad good the photo looks and yes, this is a pretty good photo. This room. And this is not the best, I would say, because the MIUI, which had the default MI camera, had the best clarity among all the classes which I have used. But this gives a pretty good photo compared to the other rooms, the KitKat or the 5.0 room. It has a good quality. And let me show you some minor changes which 5.1 gave. Here the, there are few cool animations which are invo included in this. As you see I am changing the screen alignment and it gives a cool animation look. It does look pretty cool right. Yeah and you can see the toggles which are given on the status bar can be deleted by simply pressing it. You can simply delete the toggles. But these to uh, as these toggles cannot be deleted because these are the basic ones. You can, when you add some more toggles onto the screen, you can simply delete them, delete it by prep, uh, holding the toggle for a second or so, and you get, you will sure get a remove button. And the app tray is a default app tray, the white static background, the optimization, as I told you, was pretty good, and the features which this room gives you is. It has a good battery backup. Let me show the battery backup real quick. Let me go on to the battery menu and here it is. No, this is a button. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, battery. It has give, give, even at 67 percent, it is. It would give me 21 hours. Just imagine how good the battery quality is. So I would be jumping to other features real quick and. Let me get back to you soon. And guys, the uh, main issue has been solved. The heating issue which Redmi 1S was suffering from because uh, even by running small to high end apps, the phone was heating up to a really high limit. And it was quite uncomfortable for me to even hold it. But this has been fixed by the new Lollipop room. It is pretty well optimized so I, don't, I have not seen any heating issues as of now. But even if you face any heating issues, you can simply go down to the settings and go down to the performance and you, have, you should be having a performance 
uh, you should be having a processor settings over there which would be enabling you to decrease your clock speeds up, uh, up to 800 megahertz which is not quite uh, desirable because in order to eliminate the heating issue people usually underclock the phones to about 1400 so they have also mentioned that you get better battery life as well as better stability at 1400 megahertz so guys i would suggest you to do that and also uh, i have installed the minimal uh, minimalistic pack of the g apps which would be uh, having the own the basic apps which google will be giving you the gmail as well as the play store which is quite mandatory the go the google search as of here which is present and few more apps but you have variations in the zip file you have the high end pack and the low end low end pack is only 80 mb which i have downloaded because i would i won't be needing more apps of google because i won't be using it a lot and see I have and you can simply swipe up to uh, ignore those and guys please leave a thumbs up if you like it and please support me and if you have any questions leave down in the please comment down in the description uh, comment section and let me know and I will be getting back to you and please uh, install this ROM it is pretty st stable and pretty good to use it has a really good battery backup good camera quality good stability good optimizations and good multitasking uh, operations so guys give a thumbs up for the phone and the phone as well and the phone is pretty